Hello friends, welcome back to Garden Obsessed. My name is Carla, and today we have a seed haul. So West Coast Seeds was having a sale at the end of season. Um, I think I got most of these things for 40% off. I'm trying not to buy a ton of seeds. I have lots of seeds. I wanna get those used up before I start adding more and more seeds. And um, most of these are things that either don't last long or are things that I know I wanna grow um, or, you know, there's a couple novelty things in here too that I wanted to play with this year. But the thing I was really after, and then I realized they were having a seed sale, is I grew gypsy broccoli for the first time this year. It is a hybrid but I had like the best broccoli I've ever grown and it re-sprouted. We had, I would say probably from the sprouts, we got almost as much broccoli as we did from the main heads. So this is now my new favorite. <laughs> I'm gonna try this again next year. I had bought seed start or like plugs this year from a nursery, but um, I'll try to do my own this year, which should work out. And I think most of these were like 40% off. So this says it was $3.99. The package was originally $3.99, but I think I got that like, you know, for what, $2.50 or something like that. So that's awesome. <clears throat> something else that I got this year as like kind of a fun thing is I got some quaking grass. So this will be to go in bouquets with like my dahlias and other things, other flowers that I grow. Um, I grew this once before, it was pretty cool. So I saw this on sale and was like, yep, yep, add that to the cart. Um, I still have never, I've had sporadic success with cabbage, but I haven't found a particular one that I like that's kind of a go-to. And I can't remember who I saw, but someone was raving about the Tierra cabbage. I've never tried this one. So I'm gonna give this one a try this year. Um, I'm really wanting to, not that I'm gonna have no fun things in the garden, but I'm wanting to have less, than, like eggplants done. We're done trying to grow you eggplant. You're stupid, you don't grow here. <laughs> and I'm not gonna waste any space in the garden on eggplant next year. Um, especially where I'm the only one that likes it. Like the kids don't like it, Jared doesn't like it. So why am I, why am I bothering? There's other things that we all like. Cabbage is one of those things. Um, I mean, I don't think the kids would be like, Ooh, I love cabbage. Let's grow cabbage. But it's in things that they like, like egg rolls and some other stuff. So cabbage is something I want to nail. I want the staples in the garden next year. So we're going to give this tiara cabbage a try and see how that works. Um, <clears throat> so every year I fail at these and every year I say I'm never growing them again, but then I watch everyone's harvest videos and they have the nice lovely braids and like, and I'm like, I can do this. I can conquer this. If they can grow the onions, I can grow the onions. So I'm going to try Patterson onions next year. I think I ordered some other onions that I'll also try. Like, um, anyway. Onions is the whole thing with me. So we'll try these. <laughs> and if they don't grow, I'm sure probably I'll say I'm never going to grow onions again. And probably next year I'll try a different variety and we'll see how that goes. It's a never ending cycle of hell really. But anyway, um, this is one that I tried to grow this year. Um, but the deer ate all of my pumpkins. So this is the Futsu Black pumpkin really want to grow this one so we will give this a shot again this year I used the last of my seeds this year so we will try again and hopefully have success we gotta we gotta do something about those deer this year um carrots dambers half long are one of my favorites these are just dambers um I haven't tried just dambers before um, this year we had terrible carrot year, like the seeds just drowned. I had, I had only a handful of carrots planted here. They were planted very late. They're still growing. Um, I'll probably mulch them very heavily and, you know, we'll pick them 
maybe for Christmas or something. Um, but all of the ones that the community garden drowned, except for maybe three carrots, and they were teeny tiny, like they just, it was a terrible carrot year. But the year before, we had beautiful carrots. So I'm hoping for beautiful carrots again this coming summer, and I'm hoping these might be good ones. I know lots of people grow this, so I'm sure. Um, <clears throat> spinach is kind of hit or miss for us. Sometimes we have good spinach years, sometimes it bolts. Um, I find variety is like kind of important to that. Um, and I've never tried this one. So this is called Olympia. So we'll try this one this year. I've done like the long standing Bloomsdale. What's it called? Like American spinach, um, a few others, but I've never tried this one. So we'll try this one this year and see how that does. Um, a lot of my lettuce this year was older seed and a lot of it, um, had crappy germination. So I think I've overbought lettuce this year, but you know, here's another one, butter crunch. So that's a classic. This is one that Jarrett likes. Um, I think, I think in the, um, like the grow tower, I'm losing the name of it right now. I think next year I'm only going to grow like lettuce and beans in it. Lettuce and beans grew really well in it this year. I found the peppers got too tall. Maybe we'll do like, you know, a season ender review of it. What I thought of it my first year growing in it. But um, <clears throat> the beans and, and the lettuce did really well. So we'll probably put some of this in there. Um, <clears throat> another thing I got was some cassuet, I think is how you say it, bush beans. So I'm kind of obsessed with beans lately and I want to grow a lot of our own dry beans. The deer ate most of my beans this year. I did have, I do have a few, um, which we'll probably talk about in a different video that I have planned, but um, these, these are bush beans. So at the community garden, it's really hard to grow vining things. Like they don't want you to have really tall trellises, trellises or anything. So you don't shade out your neighbors and stuff like that. So I try to grow only like bush type squash and bush type beans and things like that. Um, indeter or determinant tomatoes, you know, stuff like that. So that I'm not, um, you know, stealing sunshine from my neighbors, right? So I will probably try those there. This year, like the carrots was a crappy bean year. They just like rotted in the ground. But um, I managed to recover enough seed for some of the dry beans that I want to grow, but like way less than what I planted. So we're gonna have to baby those next year, but I needed, I needed some more bush dry beans. So we'll try these ones. And the funnest thing that I got, because typically you cannot grow these from seed, but apparently this is a lovely mix of red and rose gold, medium sized potatoes. So this is cool. So I'm gonna try this um, for the first time. I haven't seen anyone grow potatoes from seeds before. So this will be, this will be my fun project next year. Every year there's something that I'm like excited about. This year was peanuts, which we haven't talked about yet, I know. We're gonna have like a garden summary and you know, I still haven't done the video for October totals and things like that. So we'll talk about a lot of these things in some of those other videos, but this I'm very excited about. And one last thing that isn't seeds, but you know, kind of goes along with the whole gardening thing um, is they had some discounted packages of anemones, which are kind of pricey in Canada. We can't get them as good of pricing as some of you guys in the States. Um, but I have grown these ones before and I love them. And I find like ranunculus corms are a whole lot easier to save, I have found than anemones. So I'm finding that every year I'm having to replace some anemones 
and I know I like these ones, so I was like, yes, yes, add two of those to the cart. So that was my, you know, modest haul. Like I said, I'm trying to, you know, be reasonable with my seed orders this year. I'm sure there will be more. Um, but so far, I'm happy with how I have limited myself. But it is only November. So, you know, December and January are long, long months to think about gardening and get excited about stuff. And I know there's like a lot of seed companies just getting their New Year seeds and then you see all the new for 2024 stuff and you can get swayed pretty easily, but I'm doing my best to hold strong and not go overboard. So I would love to hear what you guys are growing this coming season. I love to hear where you guys get your seeds, like what are your favorite places. Um, this was from West Coast Seeds. It's, it's on, you know, the West Coast. So I don't order from them a whole lot. Like I said, they had they had that broccoli and that's what led me there. And then I saw they were having a sale, so I jumped on that. Um, typically, I'm liking lately ordering from, you know, more local seed producers. But, you know, I'm happy to support another Canadian company as well. Um, so yeah, let me know where you guys get your seeds. What are your favorite things to grow? What new thing are you trying for 2024 or what new thing did you try this year did you have success was it a bit of a challenge i love hearing these things so let me know and i hope you come back for the next video i thank you for coming to see this video and we will see you next time